And sit down. Yes, we are going now. And yes, you need to sit down for me. Now don't bother me. Please go sit down. Please sit down for me. Thank you, big girl. Thank you, big girl. Well, okay. Ooh, you're so in there. You're so in there. We must get out of this ground. Let's go straight ahead. Well, okay, Nala, eight months old. Going for nine shortly on the 4th of April. She'll be nine months old. Thank you guys for the love for the support and for the comments I'm just going to answer a couple of questions that I would normally get the biggest one is what do I feed Nala well I feed her heels the dog kibble she gets 650 grams per day of heels dog kibble and she also gets um, treats now and then so yeah you guys have asked me what do I, what do I feed Nala I feed her heels she um, eats 650 grams of heels per day and um, with the heels I normally supplement an egg or um, whatever leftover food we have which is obviously cooked food and um, make sure that that's something that they can digest it'll be something like carrots combination of um, that a couple of combination of other um, things as well so yeah um, I tried to make this video so many times but every time it stops um, but yeah thank you guys for the love for the share Thank you for the support that you guys show uh, towards towards Nala and her development. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate you guys showing all this love and support towards her. She is definitely an amazing specimen of of um, breed. Good girl, let's go. We've been coming here since she was three months old four months three months going on four months we've been coming here and um, she is kind of very familiar with the place already she knows exactly what's happening um, the amount of exercise was the next biggest question that I got how much exercise do I give her well um, as with any dog they keep themselves active throughout the day she has enough space where um, we live fortunately she has enough space to roam around and you know to just uh, stretch her legs but for those extra little bit of stretches which i come here at least once a week maybe twice if i'm lucky i come here and i do a couple of laps with a actually just one lap because it's like i said in the previous video it's about four kilometers in distance so um yeah i try to you you know just give her that vibe and that kind of um, ability to just relax good girl Nala so it's it's one of those type of things it's okay it's one of those type of things hi there he's hi, okay hi, he's, he's okay <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about those uh, interactions and um, she handles as you can see she handles strangers coming up to her running paths and things like that very well as long as I'm with her and I show her how to um, you know be at ease uh, also I don't think she's she's at that point in her life where she really perceives people as threats or anything like that but um, for the most part she's been very disciplined to people that we come across people that we meet 
which I love about. We're gonna go in the bush now, Nas. Come this way. This way. Let's go in. She is just with it when it comes to quite a lot of things, which I appreciate. Um, I try to make these videos to show you guys what these dogs are like, um, you know, in their natural habitat. This obviously is not really a natural habitat, but it's as close to being natural as possible. It's one of those things that, uh, you know, we all wish we could do. Take our dogs to places like this where we can just be dogs and just get dirty and just enjoy mother nature as they were intended to but uh, i make these videos for the sake of firstly myself i make them to to document these moments that i have we have with our pets i do it for myself and i also do it for um you know anybody else who would like to see what they are like because i don't really see content much of this breed like this uh, maybe I haven't been looking hard enough, but I just haven't seen content that is out there like this. Just you walking your dog. Just me walking my dog. Um, and that's what it's about. So Nala is eight months old. She is getting a lot more attitude when it comes to obedience and things like that. You know, their mind is becoming more made up as to what they want to do and how they want to do things. But as long as you are an affirmative leader, and you tell them, you know what, this is what I want you to do. There's no compromising on that and on this. Then we have a stable situation. Um, they require a very stable mindset breeder. Uh, as you can see, she's, she notices quite a lot of things, but she doesn't always entertain everything. She chooses who she wants to play with, those type of things. Um, no, these dogs don't feed, they don't eat a lot. They don't eat a lot. Coming back to my previous point of how much she eats she actually doesn't eat that much um that's what you're seeing this build this fat this legs this arm this muscle that is all genetics that's what you're seeing and that's the difference between buying dogs when you when you buy a dog you gotta you need to know the parents you have to have seen the parents you would have seen the bloodline in order to know what your dog is going to you know turn into and i've seen her parents not physically but on a picture and that's basically all I needed to know what she's going to turn out looking like or what she's going to eat, at least resemble so um, interesting enough fun fact my mother was the one who chose Nala she was a litter of when I saw her or when I when we went to go and puppy search there were five four of them left two males and two females she was the biggest female that there was and uh, instantly fell in love with her. I actually wanted a male, but my mother was lazy, you know, persistent that she likes Nala. She likes Nala's look. So, you know, they say the best camera is the one you have on you. Well, this is my cell phone right now, and it's currently the best thing I have on me. Um, where did I get Nala from? I bought her from a breeder, not a breeder, but a burbul owner who happened to have a litter. And, um, you know, was interested in selling these litter and that's where I got her from so you can say yes you can say technically a breeder but not a actual breeder she is registered she is registered with SABBS South African Bull Bulls Breeder Society she is registered microchipped and all that good stuff but at the end of the day, you know what, this breed is for people who are, who are willing to take note of their dogs, people who are willing to put in the time into getting what they need to do, doing what they need to do, that kind of thing. But other than that, it's, I would say it's okay, it's really well, really well balanced, I must say they are exceptionally well, well balanced in those, in those temperament areas. Come, this way. This temperament areas they are well balanced but yeah thank you for watching like share and subscribe if you would like to see some more updates this is just part one of a of a eight month update with Nala Nala. she is going through some changes 